multiple bond, multiple bond later on in the Lewis structure. Okay. So going into your Lewis structure right now, we have five steps, generally five steps, and you need to understand every step. The first step is to calculate the total valence electron of all atom and the charge. So if it's a negative charge, your anion is a negative charge, you need to add the charge. If it's a positive charge, then you need to minus the charge. Because an ion means you're adding in electron. All right? And your cation means you remove electron. So when we play along with the electron, kalau negative charge, kita kena tambah lah electron yang kita tambah tu. Kalau positive charge, kita kena tolak lah electron yang kita uh, remove tu. So the total valence electron is the first thing that you do. The second thing, you are going to write the skeletal structure and place the single bond between the central atom and terminal atom. So who is your central atom and who will be your terminal atom? Senang. Orang yang senang nak jadi positive charge. Your central atom adalah orang yang senang nak jadi positive charge. Your net straight away, identify central atom dia. When you identify the central atom already, then you know who is your terminal atom. Okay? Put a single bond between the central atom and your terminal atom and then you minus two electron for each bond. Okay, and then you octet the terminal atom and you minus all the electron again and you place the remaining electron in the central atom if there is any left. Last but not least, you need to make sure your central atom is octet as possible. Okay, so, Miss. yes. Uh, Nisha kata Miss nak ada dalam mid dia orang. Saya ada, tapi dia... Hmm. Macam tak ya. Saya ada dah sebenarnya. Saya ada je page tu aja. Ya. Okay. Just dia macam stuck. Let me rejoin. Thank you, Hannah. Memang, memang ada banyak pencara cakap semalam Google Meet pun hang dalam kuliah dia orang. So, saya pagi ni saya dah risau dah. And well, it always happen when you risau. Okay, guys. Everybody. Nampak dah, Nisha? Okay. All right. Dah. Nganggok. Okay. We just proceed. All right. So, this is the step that I give to you to ensure that you know what to do. Okay. First and foremost, guys, total valence electron kena betul. Sebab semua elektron yang kamu susun dalam Lewis structure will be based on the total valence electron. So, total valence electron kalau salah, you are gone. Okay. And how do you know who is your valence electron and how much is your valence electron? Senang ya. Kalau tak ingat, SPDF notation and also proton number yang dia bagi. And of course, kalau kamu dah buat benda tu berjuta-juta kali, you should know how much is the total, how much is the valence electron for each atom. Uh, Miss. Yes? Miss tak buka mic. Okay. Sorry. Alright. Dia tutup sendiri. So, uh, you need to use your SPDF notation and your proton number. Okay. If you don't remember, please use this. Okay, straight away. If you don't remember, please use this. Jangan, jangan duk rasa-rasa. Tak ada rasa-rasa. Okay? We will start off with a Lewis structure, a simple Lewis structure first. Anybody have any Lewis structure that you want me to draw? CO2 COCl2. COCl2, okay. Uh, I can draw that now. COCl2. Thank you. Starting the first step with your total valence electron, total valence electron of carbon, total valence, ele uh, sorry, valence electron of oxygen, valence electron of chlorine. Carbon, four. Okay, you should know the valence electron is four. Oxygen, six. Chlorine, satu chlorine tujuh, darab dua. Kenapa darab dua? Because it's a COCl2. So we have 14. 
Empat. Empat tambah enam tambah empat belas. So total valence electron over here. Twenty four. First step, you are done. Okay. You are done with the first step. Tak ada tambah charge, tak ada tolak charge because they are not an ion and they are not cation. It's a neutral. CO, CO2. Settle dengan 24. So, who is your central atom? Central atom is always the guy that is more electropositive. Orang yang senang nak jadi positif. Ataupun bahasa lain, orang yang paling susah nak jadi negatif. So, over here, I have carbon, oxygen, chlorine. Always know oxygen 2 minus, chlorine minus. So, electropositive, carbon. Carbon as a central atom letak single bond dengan oxygen, single bond dengan chlorine, single bond dengan chlorine because the questions, question pula. The flow given, skeletal structure. Skeletal structure means single bond between the central atom and the terminal atom. Satu ikatan, dua elektron. So, saya ada tiga ikatan. Tolak enam. Bear that in mind, the 24 that you have calculated just now is the total valence electron. It's the maximum electron that you have and you can use. So, tak boleh tambah, tak boleh tolak apa-apa lebih daripada 24. So, 24 tolak 6, kamu akan tinggal 18. Correct? And then, when you are done with the 18, what do we do next? We octet the terminal. So, the first person that must get octet is your terminal. And every terminal right now sebenarnya memegang dua elektron. Every terminal right now actually memegang dua elektron. So, nak jadi octet, kita kena bagi lapan. So, CL dah pegang dua. Kita tambah enam lagi in the, in the form of lone pair. So, in the other words, we give three lone pair. Bahasa betul dia, three lone pair. So, we give three lone pair to the chlorine to achieve octet. The same thing for the next chlorine. Okay. So, by that in mind, kita ada 18 electron maximum. Saya dah guna 12. Oxygen pun sama. Oxygen deserves to be octet as well. So, we have another six electron in the term of three lone pair. So, you minus out 18. Setiap satu dapat enam. Enam darat tiga, 18. Total valence electron wajib kosong. Is that clear? Okay. Senang. And then the next step, place the remaining valence electron around the central atom. Tapi total valence electron kita dah kosong. Sebab tu saya kata if there is any lab. Kalau dia dah tak ada, jangan tambah apa. Tolong jangan tambah apa. Bila total valence electron dah kosong, that's it. Kamu hanya ada 24 elektron yang kamu boleh susun dan kamu dah guna semua. So, jangan letak apa dah. So, elektron yang kamu boleh susun dan elektron yang kamu boleh ambil hanya adalah daripada dia sekarang. Because you have put everything in. Okay? So, the next thing. We check the central atom. Uh, miss. Yes. Sorry, Miss. Miss record tak? Saya record. Sebab tadi Miss record dekat link ni. Dia, miss kan terkeluar tadi. Uh, saya record kat link lain dah. Alright. Okay. So, Next, you need to make sure your central atom is not octet. Okay, you need to make sure your central atom is not octet. Therefore, oh sorry, you must make sure that your central atom is octet. Therefore, you put in your double or triple bond. Kenapa double or triple bond? Sebab valence electron dah habis. Tak boleh tambah suka hati dua titik. So, what do we do? We want to form a double bond. Oxygen and chlorine. Siapa yang akan senang form double bond? I give you the SPDF notation for a bit. Chlorine, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p5. Tunjuk sikit 5 kamu. Your chlorine having only one single unpaired electron. Betul? Setuju? Lovely. Oxygen, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p4. Hey, 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 hey. Sorry. Excited sangat. Four. So, 2P, just a bit. 2P is a four, like this. Looking at the unpaired electron, ladies and gentlemen, looking at the unpaired electron that you have for chlorine, unpaired electron that you have for oxygen, ask yourself, siapa patut pegang double bond? Oxygen. Betul? Alright, oxygen akan boleh pegang double bond kat sini dengan jauh lebih senang. 
sebab kehadiran dua single electron in your valence electron. So, when you want to form a double bond, what happen? You need to use the lone pair yang kita bagi tadi. Your oxygen must give out, must give, must cancel out one of the lone pair. Alright? Ganti dengan a bond. Kenapa ganti dengan a bond? Sebab satu ikatan dua elektron. Alright? Satu lone pair pun dua elektron. So, kita buang satu lone pair, kita ganti dengan satu ikatan. Okay, and therefore, if I redraw the correct Lewis structure, your correct Lewis structure should look something like this. Where your oxygen, looking at your oxygen, your oxygen hanya akan tinggal dua lone pair. Orang yang tak berubah akan kekal dan tidak berubah. Alright, orang yang tak berubah akan kekal dan tidak berubah. Is that clear? Okay, boleh. Senang. Okay. So, untuk saya, whenever your carbon become central atom, a bit of tip sayang, when carbon is central atom, soalan tahun tu exam senang because carbon must affect. Alright, siapa yang dah ada tengok video, you realise that some people will not achieve affect. Betul? So, yang tu kamu akan kena hafal lah. Kamu kena tahu, bukan kena hafal. Kamu kena tahu siapa yang boleh pegang incomplete, siapa yang boleh pegang odd number and so on. Tapi kalau central atom dia carbon, carbon adalah orang yang mesti octet. So, kalau exam keluar carbon, soalan tahun tu senang. Faham? Okay. So, that is our first structure. Kertas ni jangan buang, simpan. Sebab kita akan patah balik guna structure yang sama. Bila kita dah belajar bentuk. So, keep that first structure. Second, uh, any cation and ion structure that I can draw? Madam, um, CH3 plus. CH3 plus, alright. Thank you. CH3 plus, love it. So, total valence electron, first thing, always. Carbon empat. Oh, by the way, kalau siapa yang ada masalah dengan matematik nak congak tak boleh, we have one thing that call calculator. Press the calculator. Saya boleh congak sebab saya pandai. Kamu tak boleh congak, jangan congak. Bayangkan kalau total valence electron kamu salah, sayang. Bayangkan total valence electron kamu salah. I don't know whether you realize or not, the entire drawing is based on your total valence electron. Betul? And bayangkan total valence electron kamu salah, Lewis structure salah, molecular geometry salah, polarity salah, hybrid salah, Orbital overlapping salah, you are done. So, benda pertama, total valence electron, betul. Okay? Total valence electron bukan tempat yang kamu boleh, saya rasa valence electron dia berapa lah. The moment kamu rasa, saya yang jawapan kamu salah dah. Okay? Tak dia rasa-rasa. You need to know and you need to confirm. Is that clear? Okay? So, kat sini saya ada tujuh. But, if you look at it, we have a charge. We have a positive charge. And we agree, positive charge kita kena tolak charge tu. Kenapa kena tolak? Dia jadi positif sebab kita buang elektron. Dia jadi positif sebab kita buang elektron. So the charge right now is positive. I need to minus 1. So your total valence electron hanya ada 6 sekarang. Okay, your total valence electron hanya ada 6. And your central atom, as we know, carbon. H, H, H. And kita tolak enam. Agree? Okay. And your Lewis structure is not done yet. Okay. Not done because of, uh, bukan sebab tak octet semua tu. Not done because it's a positive charge. Square bracket. Penuh kat structure kamu. Positif. Jangan tinggal. Ramai sangat yang suka tinggal bahagian ni. Kamu lukis betul. Semua benda betul tapi saya tak boleh bagi makan sebab kamu tinggal charge tu. The moment kamu ada charge sayang, benda pertama lepas dan lukis sekali tau, letak bracket besar-besar, letak charge tu. Faham? Jangan tinggal the charge. And the biggest problem that your friend encounter over here, electron dah habis. Kosong. Hydrogen dah duplex. Hydrogen adalah orang yang akan achieve duplex. So, settle lah hydrogen dan duplex. Masalah dunia. Miss Wong kata carbon mesti octet. Betul? 
Kenapa carbon kat sini tak octet? Because carbon CH3 positif happen because orang yang remove elektron bukan hydrogen. Tan, don't cry tan. Don't cry. Don't cry. It's fine. Don't cry. It's okay. Carbon is not octet. Don't cry. Don't worry. Your boyfriend still love you. Dia jadi positif because carbon remove that one electron. Carbon adalah orang yang remove that one electron. Sebab tu kat sini carbon takkan jadi octet. Bila saya kata carbon mesti jadi octet, I say that carbon must achieve octet. Sayang, the one that I mean is a neutral uncharged carbon. Alright, it's a neutral uncharged carbon. Thank you, I love this question. Okay, so two things in the question. Two main thing in the question. First, Charge kena tolak kalau dia positif. Second, whenever it's a charge, sayang tolonglah. Tolong sangat-sangat, letak bracket. Okay, pengalaman kita tanda kerja, tanda kertas exam, selalu budak boleh buat. Semua boleh buat, semua betul. Tapi kita tak boleh bagi markah sebab kamu tinggal bracket and the charge. Okay, bear that in mind. Alright, uh, we are done with a neutral, we are done with a positive. Can I have any an ion that I can draw for you? Uh, miss? Yes? C and O minus? C and O minus. Okay, boleh. Okay. Oh, tapi yang ni tak ada. Oh, boleh lah. Tak apa. Saya lukis. Lukis dulu. Total valence electron. C and O minus. Bila dia adalah C and O minus, uh, we'll talk about the arrangement later. The question gives you C and O minus. Okay, never mind. Calculate the total valence electron first. Carbon 4, nitrogen 5. Guys, you will be doing this. You will be doing this for one month in your tutorial. So eventually, kamu kena hafal valence electron dia. You job. Sekarang kalau tak hafal, tulis SPDF notation. Tapi kalau dah buat sebulan benda yang sama, takkan tak tahu carbon 4 lagi. Takkan tak tahu oksigen 6 lagi. Okay. So tambah, over there, I have 15. But this 15, ada charge lagi, tak settle. So charge. My charge is a negative. As we agree, negative, kita kena tambah charge tersebut. So plus 1. I have 16 total valence electron. Setuju? Am I going too fast or what? Or too slow? So, I have a C and O minus over here. Biasanya kita akan tulis NCO minus. Okay, kalau dia bagi C and O minus tu, dia memang buat jahat sungguh, dia, dia saja je tu. Alright. Biasanya kita akan tulis N, C, O minus but as always, kalau dia bagi dalam C and O minus, you should know which one is easier to become positive charge. Oxygen adalah selalu 2 minus, nitrogen adalah 3 minus. We know that carbon valence electron 4. So valence electron 4 bermakna dia adalah orang yang paling susah nak jadi negatif. Dia adalah orang yang paling senang nak jadi positif. Okay? So carbon will be your central atom. Okay? When your carbon becomes central atom, single bond with the oxygen, single bond with the nitrogen. Okay? Kat sini kita tolak empat lah. Dua, dua. Satu ikatan, dua elektron. So dua ikatan, empat elektron. Tinggal dua belas. Okay? Tinggal dua belas. Next step. Done with the total valence electron, done with the skeletal structure, octet the terminal atom. So, your terminal atom adalah nitrogen dengan oxygen. Dua-dua kena octet. Sekarang, dia nak pegang dua. So, another six electron in three lone pair. Another six electron in three lone pair. Sayang, enam elektron tu jangan letak macam ni tau. Bila saya kata octet, jangan letak enam elektron tu macam tu. Apa ni? Sebab tu saya keep on guna perkataan tiga lontai, tiga lontai. Aku tak boleh percaya apa. Bila saya, saya tak suka guna perkataan enam titik. Bila saya guna perkataan enam titik, hang suka hati, hang dah, hang letak tu. Alright. Tolong eh, they must be in the term of lontai. One pair, two pair, three pair. And like I said, you are done. And once you are done, tak payah buat apa lagi sayang. Bracket, bracket, charge dulu. Jangan lupa hat tu. Okay. Jangan lupa hat tu. And then next, we look at your central atom. Sebab terminal dah okay. We are done with that. 
place the remaining total valence electron around the centratum if you have any left i have nothing left so we are done with that form the multiple bond if the central atom is not of that okay at your central atom as we agree your carbon must achieve of that button all right your carbon must achieve of that when your carbon must achieve of that over here carbon sekarang hanya pegang empat electron around it dua dua anybody how do we achieve of that for this carbon anyone we have to double bond. We form a double bond. Double bond with carbon and oxygen. We form a double bond with carbon and oxygen. Boleh. Oxygen. Let's see. Okay. One one by one first. We form the double bond first. So we can form a double bond with the carbon and oxygen. So kalau tak cukup, saya tak cukup empat saya. So saya ambil dua elektron, satu lontar daripada nitrogen, jadi satu double bond. Tapi still tak cukup. Daripada 4, sekarang jadi 6. Still tak cukup. So, carbon kita sekarang berlaku adil. Kita ambil dengan carbon, kita ambil dengan nitrogen, kita ambil juga dengan oksigen. So, oksigen pun buang satu, jadi double bond. So, daripada 4, daripada 6, jadi 8. So, carbon saya dah octet. Setuju? Carbon saya dah octet. Betul? Okay. Ada cara lain? This one betul eh? This one betul. We can we can leave it here. We can leave it here. Dari segi Lewis structure, dia betul. Okay? Then we can move on. What do we do? Triple bond with the nitrogen. Triple bond with the nitrogen. Another option adalah your single bond tadi, saya tak nak ambil apa-apa daripada oksigen. My oksigen kekal tak berubah. But my nitrogen adalah orang yang mengoktetkan saya dari awal hingga akhir. So what do I mean by that is, I will only take the lone pair from nitrogen. Nitrogen buang dua, jadi satu ikatan, double bond. Nitrogen buang lagi, jadi satu lagi ikatan. And your carbon right now is octet. Looking at your carbon, your carbon is definitely octet because your carbon right now having four bond around it. Dua, empat, enam, lapan. Octet. Betul? Okay. And any option? Any other option? Madam, oh. if the triple bond form with oxygen, is it okay? Yes. Let's see. Let's see whether it's okay or not. So I have my negative charge. Sayang, bracket jangan tinggal. My original dari awal tadi something like this my nitrogen original something like this dari awal so your friend asks is that okay if i form the triple bond with the oxygen rather than nitrogen boleh dua lone pair sorry satu lone pair hilang dua elektron jadi ikatan tak cukup lagi baru enam so ambil lagi dua daripada oksigen jadi lagi triple bond so carbon kamu sekarang ada lapan elektron around it carbon octet and dari segi Lewis structure, salah apa-apa ke? Bilangan elektron kita tambah apa-apa ke? Tak ada kan? Bilangan elektron kosong. Dari awal kita tak usik apa dah. Saya cuma main elektron dalam tu je. Alright, we only play the electron around it. So in term of Lewis structure, all these are possible. All these are possible. Okay, semua ni betul. Question? All right. So, we have uh, an ion. Whenever you have an ion, make sure in your Lewis structure at the end of the day, you have the charge. Jangan tinggal, tolonglah. Next, when it's an ion, on your total valence electron, the charge must be added in because it's a negative charge with extra electron. Okay? Ada lagi yang saya nak lukis? One more before we go into shape. Eddie? SCN minus, miss? SCL minus. SCN minus. SCN minus. Sama macam O. Sama dengan yang tadi. SCN minus tak nak buat boleh tak? Exactly the same. Sama je. Boleh double bond, boleh triple bond, single bond, boleh triple bond, single bond. Sama. Sebab soalan yang sangat sama dengan tadi. Alright. Lagi-lagi? 
you love charge charge is the problem i guess charge selalu jadi problem oh we draw a simple one guys uh semua dah carbon dah we draw a nitrogen and o3 minus all right look like you love to give me the charge so we try one charge dan tadi semua adalah carbon jadi central atom bila masa nak pandai yang boleh so no3 minus nitrogen jadi central atom can i have the total valence electron one second please Fazana Hasman. Total valence electron dapat berapa? Fazana Hasman. Twenty four. Twenty four. Yang lain setuju? Okay. All right, nitrogen 5, oxygen 6 times 3. So you have 18. Charge adalah negative, so kita tambah 1. So total valence electron 24. Good. Central atom jelas, wey. Central atom jelas, terpampang jelas. Wait, a bit of tips. A bit of tips for you. Siapa nak jadi central atom? Tengok kat valence electron. Valence electron yang rendah selalu akan jadi central atom. Senang. Daripada nak fikir positif, negatif, cat pening kan? Nitrogen 4, uh, sorry, nitrogen 5, oksigen 6. Nit Biasanya valence elektron yang rendah adalah orang yang akan jadi central atom. Kecuali hydrogen ya, eh. sayang. Kecuali hydrogen. Hydrogen forever akan jadi terminal. Kecuali hydrogen, okay? Alright. So, a bit of tips to make your life easier, I guess. So, I have my nitrogen. Single bond with the oxygen. Single bond with the oxygen. Single, single, single. Main tolak-tolak je weh. Satu ikatan dua elektron. Tolak enam. Dua puluh empat tolak enam, ladies and gentlemen. Ada berapa tinggal, Afiq? H8P4. Yes. Dua puluh empat tolak enam, sayang. Lapan belas. Lapan belas. Lepas tu, next step, sayang. Afiq? Uh, Octet can oksigen. Octet can semua oksigen. Macam mana? Letak berapa? Letak 6. Letak 6 elektron ataupun 3 lone pair. Ah, Pasti ada lagi dalam pasang. So we octet that. Okay, I guess everybody agree. Semua patut dah hebat. It's exactly the same like the video. Minus 18, you are done with your total valence electron. Jangan lupa charge. Tolong jangan lupa charge. Jangan lupa benda tu kita ada, kita letak terus. Okay. And nitrogen is a group 15. And for your information, quick question. Nitrogen selain daripada octet, nitrogen boleh jadi what type of octet lagi? Anybody? Odd number of octet. Alright, nitrogen adalah antara orang yang boleh pegang odd number of octet. Bila kita kata dia boleh jadi odd number of octet, odd number of octet is our least priority. Alright, our priority tetap octet. Kalau boleh capai octet, priority kita octet. Kalau tak boleh jadi octet, barulah kita bergerak kepada your odd number, your, uh, your incomplete octet, your expanded octet, exceptional octet, your exceptional octet yang kita nak masuk saat lagi. Exceptional octet hanya akan berlaku sebab benda tu tak boleh capai octet. Selagi kita boleh capai octet, kita akan octetkan dia. So nitrogen around nitrogen obviously ada 6 elektron. 2, 2, 2. So tak cukup 2 je kan? So berapa double bond sekarang? Betul? We just take one double bond. And betul tak kalau Miss Wong buat macam ni? Take a look on the screen please. Betul tak kalau Miss Wong letak oh nak jadi double bond ya? Is my structure correct? No. Why? Hana ni? Mike. 
tak dengar. Fatin, Fatin Natasha. Yes or no? Is my structure right now correct? Yes. Yes. Class, Nisha, tengok sikit Fatih Nat Natasha tu nanti. Nisha, yes or no? No. No. Why? Kata nak jadi dah berbun. Dah bagi dah dah berbun. Uh, tapi oksigen dia lebih. Oksigen dia lebih. Bila kita tambah double bond, double bond tak boleh tambah suka hati macam tu je. Double bond adalah pertukaran dengan lone pair kamu. Bila double bond masuk, lone pair kena berambus. Faham? Okay, bila double bond masuk, lone pair kena keluar. Dan supaya oksigen, yang penting sayang, supaya oksigen kekal oktet. Kalau teacher tak letak, tak buang lone pair tu, perasan nak oksigen kita lebih? Enam, tujuh, lapan. Sembilan sepuluh. Kan? Oksigen tak boleh lebih. Sebab oksigen kena kekal oktet dari awal sampai hujung. So, lone pair kena keluar bila double bond masuk. Okay? Selalu budak akan buat, oh tak oktet, dia tambah lone pair. Dia tambah, dia tambah double bond. Dia tambah je lah double bond tu. Dia tambah sungguh. Dia tak buat apa lah. Okay? Bear that in mind, double bond adalah selari dengan lone pair. Double bond masuk, lone pair keluar. Triple bond masuk, lone pair keluar. Faham? Okay? And that is my NO3 minus. Okay. And if you look at it, your oxygen right now, guys. Oops. Apa benda saya pegang tadi? Oh, it's an eraser. If you look at it, your nitrogen right now as a central atom is not odd number of that. Your nitrogen right now is actually a of that. Betul? So, kind reminder. Kita nak masuk exceptional of that kat sini. Kita nak masuk exception of that. Your exception of that right now, your odd number, your incomplete, your expanded of that, hanya akan jadi oktet. Hanya akan jadi benda ni kalau dia tak boleh capai oktet. Okay? So a bit of tips for your odd number oktet. Your odd number of electron around the center atom must be closest. Closest to oktet. So biasanya your odd number adalah lebih kurang tujuh. Okay? Kita nak bagi dia sedekat dengan oktet. Oktet lapan. So, nombor ganjil sebelum 8, 7 lah. Kita akan cuba bagi dia dekat dengan 7. Okay. Zawanis. Sorry, sorry. Tertekan. Alright. Your odd number of that over here akan selalunya berlaku pada group 15 and also group 17. And selalu yang akan keluar dalam exam kamu untuk group 15 and 17 yang akan pegang odd number. Nitrogen, chlorine. A bit of tips. Tak semestinya tapi selalunya. Okay. Your incomplete octet over here is less than 8 electron around the central atom tapi tak boleh nombor ganjil. Mesti adalah even number. Even number kita maksudnya dia kena adalah 4 electron ataupun 6 electron. Sebab kalau 7 dia tak jadi incomplete lah. 7 dia jadi odd number. Faham? Dia mesti adalah nombor genap. And your incomplete octet over here will normally happen to who? Anybody? Berilium. Uh, Berilium. Berilium. Oops. Boron. Atau aluminium. Uh, bahasa lain dia. Group 2. Group 13. Okay. Selalunya orang yang akan jadi incomplete octet adalah your group 2, your group 13. Selalunya. Guys, kalau boleh kita still nak dia jadi octet. Kalau boleh kita still nak dia jadi octet. Bila dia dalam keadaan tak ada pilihan, tak ada elektron dah. Memang tak ada, habis dah. Dan baru kita tinggalkan dia dalam incomplete octet atau odd number octet. Selagi kita boleh, kita tetap nak jadikan dia octet. Is that clear? Okay. And then your expanded of that. Anybody? More or equal to period 3. More or equal to period 3. So, Ren, why? Um. Because of D orbital. Yes. Senang. Period 3 onwards. 
Dia ad, mesti adalah orang yang duduk di period 3 and onwards Sebab apa? Period 3 adalah bermulanya kehadiran Present of your D orbital Alright, kenapa boleh jadi expanded? Kenapa boleh lebih lapan? Sebelum ni kamu belajar 2, 8, 8 betul? Kenapa sekarang boleh lebih lapan? Remember your N equals to 3 Your L can be 2 Which is your D orbital Remember that? And bila D orbital, kita boleh ada kehadiran 3S, 2, 3P, 6, 3D, 10. 3S, 2, 3P, 6, 8. Tapi 3S, 2, 3P, 6, 3D, 10, 18. And your pseudo noble gas, if you remember last week, your pseudo noble gas adalah as stable as your noble gas configuration. So, dia tetap stabil tapi dia lebih daripada 8. That is your expanded of that. And biasanya yang kita jumpa phosphorus, sulfur, chlorine, orang-orang tu lah. Okay? Orang-orang tu lah yang duduk di period 3 and lebih. Sebab kehadiran D orbital. Is that clear? Favorite question. Kenapa boleh expanded of that? Alright. Favorite question. Answer. Because uh, element in period 3 and onwards due to the presence of D orbital. Itulah sebab dia. Okay? Alright, let's draw one edge over here. We have NO3 minus just now. Kenapa saya bagi NO3 minus? Because over here, I want you to draw NO2. I want you to draw NO2. Saya nak tunjuk bahawa nitrogen boleh capai octet. At the same time, nitrogen boleh jadi odd number octet. Dalam structure yang berbeza. Total valence electron please. Dah. Aina, Aina Safia H8P4 8P4 18 Yang lain setuju? 18 Safia Aina 18 Wait, waiting Waiting Tekan calculator sayang, tekan calculator Senang je, saya rasa dia akan dapat nombor ganjil. Right? 17. 17. Nitrogen 5, oxygen 6 times 2, you have 12. So, total valence electron 17, guys. Apa-apa salah pun, total valence electron tak boleh salah. Hari tu masuk day one exam, tak pakai spender. Oh, bad words, Miss Wong. Total valence electron tak boleh salah. No matter what happened on that day. Faham? Okay. Alright, so you have your 17 over here. Nitrogen adalah central atom. As always, oxygen, oxygen. Tolak 4. 17 tolak 4, 13. Okay, yang ni kalau guna sekali jari kaki cukup. So, kalau tak pandai congak, sila guna jari-jari anda. Kalau tak, kita ada satu benda panggil calculator. Sila tekan. 17 tolak 4, you got your 13. Okay, so done step 1, done step 2. Octet determinant atom. Octet determinator, we have talked about that many times right now. So, octet your oxygen, letak 3 lontar. So, kita tolak 12. And for the first time ever, total valence electron tinggal. Okay? So, bila total valence electron tinggal, what happened? Place the remaining total valence electron around the central atom. Saya tinggal satu. Satu bermakna... Satu titik To the central atom Okay Bermakna satu titik to the central atom Fatih Natasha, are we done? Yes Fatih, kalau belajar hati tak ada Susah Fatih Fatih, how many electron around nitrogen right now? Five Five and I say, if we want to leave it at odd number, dia kena closest to octet. Betul? So, nombor. Nombor ganjil yang paling dekat dengan octet 8. So, are we done, Fatin? No. No. So, what do we do, Fatin? Uh, double bond. 
From a double bond. From double bond, yeah. Okay, from double bond. Remove uh, one lone pair. Remove one lone pair and form a double bond with an oxygen. Supaya valence, supaya electron around nitrogen daripada lima boleh tukar jadi tujuh. And therefore, kita ada dua tadi. Saya padam balik. Okay, so kita ada dua tadi. This one. Yang Fatih at the beginning kata dah settle. Dengan yang kedua yang saya paksa dia buat adalah this one. And sayang, atas dengan bawah. Bukan dua-dua betul tau. Satu je betul. Hanya yang bawah sahaja yang betul. Sebab yang ni around the nitrogen hanya lima elektron. Yang ni around the nitrogen adalah tujuh elektron. And like I told you already, odd number of that bukan semua nombor ganjil. Odd number of that adalah nombor ganjil yang boleh paling dekat dengan lapan. Faham? So this one bukan jawapan betul. Budak selalu bila kata odd number of that, hang pun mai lah. Lima tu odd number lah misal. Oh tidak, tidak, tidak. Kita kena dekat dengan octet. Kita still kena bagi dia cuba dekat dengan octet. Okay? So only this one is correct. And why I will leave it as a odd number octet over here? Kenapa kita tak jadikan dia octet? Perasan nak Buat macam mana pun dia takkan jadi octet. Okay? Sebab kita bermula dengan total valence electron kamu dan nombor ganjil. Kita bermula dengan total valence electron kamu dan nombor ganjil. So, kamu buat macam mana pun sayang, dia takkan jadi octet. Okay? And then, always remember, bila kamu dah decide dia adalah odd number octet sayang, jangan tinggal jawapan tu. Kamu kena make sure orang yang kamu kata odd number octet, boleh pegang odd number octet. Odd number octet tadi adalah group 15 atau group 17 sahaja. So, kamu kena make sure, oh, nitrogen. Nitrogen is a group 15. Okay, logic. Then you move on. Okay. Kalau tak logic, sayang, hang buat salah tu. Buat balik. Okay. You need to check. You need to double check whether you say that is a odd number of card. Is that person boleh pegang odd number of card? You need to double check that. Okay. Done. Alright. Before we move on, happy with all the steps that over here? My advice for the step over there, I have tried to simplify as possible for you. Tak ada ayat panjang-panjang, tak ada benda pelik-pelik. Straightforward. Dan saya bila saya bagi benda straightforward macam ni, Hang tak payah fikir lebih-lebih lah. Hang pun kadang-kadang kita bagi senang, Hang fikir banyak. Benda yang susah, Hang tak nak fikir. Susah tu lah hidup Allah. <tuh> Jangan fikir lebih daripada apa yang kita bagi. Jangan duk tambah elektron yang tu paling saya pantang. Jangan tambah elektron. Semua benda kena bertukar. Double bond adalah bertukar dengan lone pair. Jangan letak suka hati. Okay. Triple bond adalah bertukar dengan lone pair. Always remember that. Okay. And I want a incomplete. Any incomplete that you want me to draw? Tak ada. I have one. Among that I love to use because I want to remind you. This party. Even though it's a metal and non-metal, again, aluminium chloride is your covalent. We talked about it last week. Okay? We, I just want to remind you, antara contoh yang saya suka guna bukan sebab dia susah. Just I want to remind you, aluminium chloride is a covalent. Okay? Dia bukan ionic. It's a covalent. Total valence electron, quickly please. Twenty-four. Setuju? Aluminium 3 is a group 13. Chlorine 7 times 3, 21. So 24. Central atom agak jelas. And like I said, valence electron yang rendah adalah orang yang akan jadi central atom. Aluminium lah kat sini. Tiga dan aluminium pegang satu je. Straight away, aluminium duduk kat tengah. Chlorine, chlorine, chlorine. 24, tolak 6, tinggal 18. Okay. 18, octet the chlorine. Senang je. 
Benda yang sama sayang, kamu akan repeat benda ni untuk sebulan. Kamu tahu tak? Alright, you need to be extremely good. Dan katakanlah lepas cuti mid sem kamu balik ke college. Saya bagi maka kat siapa-siapa yang dalam Dewan Kuliah duduk face to face dengan saya, kamu tak boleh lukis restructure tu. Good luck. I hope you'll still be breathing after that. Right, Nisha? Nisha gelap. But yes or no? Thank you. Lapan belas. You need to finger cross all sort of finger that you can cross supaya kamu tak perlu balik college. Tak adalah saya gurau je sayang. Kita, saya harap berjumpa dengan kamu face to face. Supaya boleh minta maaf face to face. Sebab banyak sangat buat salah dengan kamu. Alright. Ke kamu buat salah banyak dengan saya. Kan Fatin? So, you have your settle over here. Tak payah cerita dah tolak-tolak tu. And the question will be, saya selalu budak akan tawa, jawab, tanya kat saya, teacher, letak je lah dah berbuang kat aluminium. Oktet lah. Betul. Kenapa tak letak dah berbuang kat aluminium? Jadi oktet lah. Kenapa nak tinggal dia jadi uh, your incomplete oktet kat sini? So, untuk jawab soalan tu. Pertama, kenapa nak tinggal jadi incomplete oktet? First, sebab dia boleh jadi incomplete oktet. We agree on your incomplete of that just now that your friend say is your group 2 and your group 13. Selalunya. And your aluminium located in group 13. Okay. Tapi Miss Wong akan kata, tapi Miss Wong kata nak cuba octet kan dia kalau boleh. Kita akan belajar, kamu akan belajar dalam kuliah kita tak ajar. Kamu akan belajar benda ni dalam tutorial nanti di satu benda panggil hybridization. Pernah dengar? Video saya dah ada. Go and figure out kat hybridization. The hybridization, akan, kamu akan perasan aluminium tak boleh pegang lebih daripada tiga single point. Okay. Kat situ kamu akan nampak. Alright. So, uh, kat sini cara senang nak tunjuk aluminium. Valence electron adalah tiga. Sebab dia duduk di 3S2, 3P1 kalau tak silap saya. Kan? Betul tak? 2S2 ke? 2. 2S2, 2P1. So, 3 elektron sahaja. Dia akan pegang 3 single elektron sahaja in your SP2 nanti. Pergi pergi cari apa benda tu SP2, apa benda ni. Okay, go and figure that out. Okay, go and figure that out. So, dia hanya boleh pegang 3 single bond. That's why your aluminium that having 6 elektron around it. 2, 4, 6 will be your incomplete octet. And kind reminder, huge reminder, not kind reminder, aluminium chloride is not ionic, it's a covalent. So kalau keluar aluminium chloride, make sure kamu buat cara covalent, bukan ionic. Okay? Boleh? Alright? Okay. Last but not least for today. Uh, expanded, any expanded that I can draw for you? Can I have something with charge or lone pair? Saya bagi yang susah sikit selain daripada FF6, betul? Asyik SF6 dia bila nak pandai. We do something. Um, Xenon tetrafluoride. Xenon is a noble gas. So valence electron lapan. Okay. Xenon is a noble gas. So total valence, sorry, valence electron lapan. Semua kena xenon. Kumpulan dengan neon, argon, krypton, xenon and back back. Okay. Group 18. So fluorine adalah 7. 7 times 4. Ladies and gentlemen, 28. 28 tambah 8. Siapa yang tak boleh congak? Calculator. Tak payah congak ni, Syah. Calculator. Alright. Jangan cita-cita tinggi. Thank you for showing me the calculator 36. Saya cukup pantang budak salah kat total valence electron. Okay. Saya cukup pantang. So, kenapa nak buat yang ni? Sebab ada lone pair kat central atom dan saya nak tinggalkan yang ni sebagai kerja untuk kamu. Xenon F4. Alright. Xenon F4. So, obviously Xenon 1 F4. So, Xenon central atom lah. 36 tolak 8. Million dollar question. 36 tolak 8. Tinggal berapa? Hani Fariha? Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. Okay. 
28 little octet kan your terminal atom and tell me how many lone pair I need to have on my central atom. Please. Hidayati, Miss Wong nak tahu ada berapa lone pair yang akan duduk kat sini? Hmm. Two. Two lone pad. Yang lain setuju? Two lone pad. Kenapa two lone pad? Because I have octet my fluorine six electron each. Enam darah empat, dua puluh empat. Tolak dua puluh empat, I have four left. Four electron left. Bermakna two lone pad. Thank you. Okay. And that is what we call your expanded. Kenapa Zinion adalah expanded? Because looking at your zinion, look at around zinion right now, I have two electron in the bond, two electron, two electron, two electron. Around the bond, dalapan. Atas zinion, empat lagi. So zinion sekarang sebenarnya pegang 12 electron around it. 12 electron, obviously more than eight. Betul? Bila more than eight, your zinion right now is a expanded octet. Okay? And if you have the SPDF notation, you realize that your xenon is way mm -hmm. after period 3. Xenon is located in period 5. Okay? Bila dia duduk di period 5, dia boleh ada D orbital. And bila dia boleh ada D orbital, that's why your xenon can be expanded of that. Boleh? Setuju? And kerja yang saya nak tinggal kat kamu, alright, antara sebab yang saya nak buat, Kerja yang saya nak tinggal kat kamu adalah I want to know the shape the bo, uh, the shape, the bond angle and the polarity the shape the bond angle and the polarity of every example that we have draw today. Tak banyak sikit je. Saya rasa tak sampai 10 struktur kita lukis. Okay. I want every single bond angle, every single shape, and also uh, polarity of the things that we have drawn. So by your next week, we can very quickly go through your Vesper theory, the SEPR, talking about all the basic molecular geometry and your shape. Okay, then dari situ kita akan masuk polarity straight away. Okay. And same thing like this week, I'm happy. I'm so happy because you have structure for me to draw. Next week, bila kita dah masuk geometry, kamu akan perasan kamu lagi banyak benda kamu akan lukis. Betul? Same thing. Give me molecule that you want me to draw. Kenapa geometry dia macam tu? Geometry dia kenapa tiba-tiba jadi V-shape, datang dari mana square planner, datang dari mana square pyramidal, shape-shape yang apa benda makcik ni? Ha, shape-shape macam tu kita nak lukis. Setakat linear, trigonal, planar, tutup mata boleh buat saya. Okay? So, same thing like this week. I want structure that I want you give to me and I draw. Question? Alright? Kalau tak ada, I hope I have helped you something about your Louis structure today. And I'll see you next week with more Louis structure and polarity and so on. Okay? I'm sorry at the technical problem at the beginning. I don't know what happened. Uh, no quiz tonight because it's your assignment week, it's your practical test week. Saya, saya kesian juga walaupun saya jahat. So get done. All right, make sure your assignment is good, practical test is good. Then we will talk about the quiz later on. Kalau siapa yang ada masalah Lewis structure, please ask. Okay? Alright, Fatih Natasha? You missed my question for three times. <laughs>